A rain garden can be a beautiful and functional addition to your landscape. Beautiful because of the plants, and functional because it helps reduce stormwater runoff. When rain hits hard surfaces like pavement and rooftops, it quickly runs off. As it flows, stormwater runoff can become polluted and cause erosion. In contrast, when rain or snowmelt soaks into the ground, some is used by plants while the rest slowly filters through the soil. One way to help clean runoff, slow it down, and soak it in is by directing it into a rain garden. Rain gardens collect runoff in a shallow depression that holds it and lets it soak into the soil. Usually a rain garden collects runoff from a roof downspout, but nearby turf or paved areas can also drain to the garden. Rain gardens are usually designed to hold runoff from about one inch of rain and are typically three to twelve inches deep. Rain gardens are not water gardens or bogs. The rainwater that is captured soaks into the soil. Because the purpose of a rain garden is to let water soak in, a well-drained soil is key to success. The soil must allow the captured water to drain within 48 hours. The best location for a rain garden is along a gentle slope or in a flat area. This way the bottom of the garden can be made level without moving a large amount of soil. A level bottom is critical so the water spreads out evenly. To hold water in the garden, a berm is built on the downhill sides. A rain garden won't be able to hold all of the runoff from a severe or prolonged storm, so a designed overflow is needed to let excess water escape. This can be a short pipe through the berm, or a notch in the berm filled with stones and protected from erosion. Ideally, the overflow will drain to an area where water can soak in and not to a hard surface such as a driveway. Design a rain garden to fit in with your landscape and keep these things in mind. A rain garden should be at least 10 feet away from a building to avoid water draining toward the foundation. Avoid rights of way and underground utilities. Don't put a rain garden under a tree or close to a septic system. Stay at least 100 feet from a wellhead. If the water table is near the surface, it's not a good place for a rain garden. Successful rain gardens generally use native and adapted plants. Native plants grow naturally in the area and are well suited to local growing conditions. Adapted plants may come from other regions but do well in local conditions. Rain gardens have three growing zones. Plants in the level area at the bottom must tolerate standing water for short periods as well as dry conditions between rains. On the sides, plants need to tolerate less standing water and drier conditions. Plants on top of the berm need to tolerate dry conditions and won't stand in water. University of Nebraska Lincoln Extension has several publications with instructions for locating, designing, and installing rain gardens. You can find them at ianrpubs.unl.edu. For additional help selecting plants, consult the Nebraska Bioretention and Rain Garden Plants Guide, EC1261, available for sale online from the UNL Marketplace, marketplace.unl.edu slash extension. For an attractive way to help reduce stormwater runoff and runoff pollution, consider adding a rain garden to your landscape. For more information, please visit the website water.unl.edu.